I'm Ian Somerville and in this video on requirements engineering I'm going to be talking about some fundamental notions in the topic. I'm going to be talking about the ideas of stakeholders, viewpoints and concerns. You've probably heard me use the term stakeholder in other videos. It's really a very important idea in requirements engineering. It's to get away from the concept that the only people who matter are users of a system. Basically, a stakeholder in a system is any person or sometimes a, a role who are affected by the system in some way. And as a consequence, they can contribute requirements or knowledge which helps you understand these requirements. So a stakeholder is someone who has a, a stake in the system. They, 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 there's something that they can lose if the system does not operate correctly or, or to their requirements. It's not just end users, but it can be managers and sometimes even the general public. Here are examples of stakeholders in a medical system, a medical information system that provides information to doctors and to hospital managers about patients and their treatment. Examples of stakeholders here are doctors, nurses, patients, hospital managers, administrators, and the owners of other connected systems. There may also be other stakeholders depending on the way in which the health system is funded. So in the United States, insurance companies are likely to be important system stakeholders. In public health systems, it's the government may be a stakeholder. We need to take into account the views of all of these stakeholders. It's not just the end users of a system who have got requirements. Now, stakeholders are people. We can clearly relate stakeholders to individuals in the system. And these individuals obviously fall into groups. So we have clinical stakeholders in a medical system, which would be doctors, nurses, and other healthcare professionals. We've also have management or administrative stakeholders in the same system who would be the administrators who use the system, the hospital managers. And what we can do is we can collect these requirements, we can organise the requirements from the groups of stakeholders into what we call viewpoints, where viewpoints are a structuring mechanism for the requirements, they're ways of putting the requirements together or putting related requirements from related stakeholders together so that we can consider them as a whole. Here are some examples of a viewpoint. In a system there might be an end user viewpoint. That's all of the end users, all of the people who actually interact with the system as part of their job. There may also be a managerial viewpoint. People who are involved in managing the activities of these end users but the managers don't actually interact with the system. There may be a systems administration viewpoint. So there are requirements coming from systems administrators or systems managers, how the system is managed, how it's deployed, how it's updated. And there's requirements coming from an engineering viewpoint. What is sometimes forgotten is that engineers, those developing the system, are also system stakeholders and they also have requirements and these requirements have to be taken into account when we're deriving the whole requirements for a system. Otherwise, we could end up with something that we can't implement in practice. Stakeholders and viewpoints are not the same thing. Stakeholders are something that exists in the real world, in the end user world. It's something where we can clearly identify individuals or roles who are connected in some way with the system. Whereas viewpoints are a mechanism for organising requirements. There aren't necessarily viewpoints in the real world. You would not necessarily say, or you would not necessarily have a stakeholder identifying themselves as an end user. They're simply a useful construct 
that help us organise the system requirements. Individual stakeholders are not just the only source of requirements. Individual stakeholders reflect what they do and that's embodied in requirements grouped into viewpoints. But as well as these requirements organised into viewpoints reflecting groups of stakeholders, we also have requirements that affect the system as a whole, so-called systemic requirements. They're, they're relevant to everybody and everything. And these go under different names. I like to call them concerns. They're something that all viewpoints, all stakeholders have to be concerned about. And concerns are cross-cutting. They affect all of the system stakeholders. They're something that apply, they, they generate requirements that apply to the system as a whole. And we can look on this using a, what's sometimes called the socio-technical triangle, where we have classes of stakeholder, operators and managers, the organisation as a whole, society, the broader society, where the requirements may be coming from a, a system regulator, and then right up at the sharp end, the requirements that come from the software and hardware that are being used. But cross-cutting all of these are concerns. The reliability of a system is a concern. It affects and is influenced by all of these things. Reliability, availability, safety, security and resilience, the, the, the dependability issues are all cross-cutting. They're not they don't come just from a single viewpoint. So we need to look at the analysis of these requirements from the perspective of all of the system stakeholders. What's important about concerns is that they often reflect organisational goals or organisational requirements. So they're a means of bridging that gap between the often more diffuse and less well expressed organisational requirements and the more specific requirements coming from stakeholders that we group into viewpoints. In summary then, this video has introduced three key topics, stakeholders, individuals who have got a stake or an interest in the system, viewpoints, which are collections of requirements where the requirements have much in common, and concerns, which are cross-cutting issues that affect all stakeholders and that must, must be considered when we do an analysis of all of the requirements. You can download the slides that accompany this video from my SlideShare account.